Acorn Collectors is DC on the Big D. It's a 2009 Jefferson Nickel from the United States of America. You see three of them up here, the P, the D, and the S. And you can tell probably just by looking at these that these are all special finished coins. Two of them are the satin finished coins that come in the United States Mint sets from 2009. And one of them is way over here, San Francisco proof finish coin. And there's no mistaking that shine on the proof finish. Down here at the bottom, we just have some regular circulating coins. And you can see that they don't stay shiny and they don't keep their character very well as they start to fall apart. This is one of the old coins, and these coins uh, were around until 2004. 2005, they put out a special version, and then 2006 and on, we've had this Jefferson right here. It's a Jamie Frankie Donna Weaver interpretation of the Felix Schlag portrait. So you see the J and F up there for Jamie Frankie, and then the D down here for Donna Weaver. And as you can see, it is uh, in script, the word liberty is, uh, 2009 D here, and God we trust in front of Jefferson, who's kind of facing toward the camera, but not quite straight on. Uh, you see that he has very similar clothing on to what he wore in the previous coins portrait, uh, but his hair is fuller. It's hard to tell whether he actually does have this ponytail or not. And he actually looks kind of more noble in this side portrait, doesn't he? And maybe that's just because we've gotten used to this side view of him. These coins are very easy to get, and they're not very expensive even at the highest levels. In 2009, Philadelphia minted 40 million of these, 75% copper, 25% nickel coins. The auction record for one of these Philadelphia coins is $395. At a mint state 65, it's $32. At a mint state 66, it's $225. And that's for the regular strike filly. The satin finished Philadelphia coin has an auction record of $180. And if you can get it uh, in a special strike where a satin finish 69 can be worth up to $225. So it's worth a little bit less with the satin finish at the highest level. At the Denver Mint here, they made $47 million, $295 for the auction record, $38 from Mint State 65, $175 from Mint State 68. At the Denver Mint for the satin finish coins, there uh, the auction record is $130, and a satin finish special strike 69 is worth $145. Way over here on the side is the proof coin from 2009. And you can tell it's a proof coin because it has the S on here from the San Francisco Mint. And you can also tell it's a proof coin because it is a cameo and just a wonderful cameo in terms of the colors. At San Francisco in 2009, they made 2.2 million. The auction record for a proof 70 deep cameo is $140. But a Proof 70 Deep Cameo is currently going for $35. What's on the back of these coins? Well, that's the cool part, and that is they still have the same old Monticello on the back. You still look for the steps. You still want to get a full steps version, not in the San Francisco Mint coin, of course, but in the Denver Mint and the other coins. And you can see that this one, unfortunately, has the full steps, but it's a satin finish. This is a regular circulating coin, and you can see how these steps usually go once they get used. In fact, this one was probably not very, not very good condition even before it got used. It says the Pluribus Unum at the top, United States of America here at the bottom, five cents across here in Monticello right there. And you can see if we get the light just right, you can see a few steps kind of going across. But if you get one of these coins and it's been used at all, it's just going to be all chipped and all scratched. Why is it that the Philadelphia, the Denver, and the San Francisco Mint coins from 2009 aren't very expensive? Well, I think collectors just haven't caught into them yet. They're so used to the old uh, Jefferson, and there's an incredible premium on the old Jeffersons versus the new Jeffersons. It may be that they do increase in value in time, but at this point, the highest assessed value for any of these
coins it is, is only $225 for the best of the best of the 2009 nickels. So you could get all of these coins, the best San Francisco, the best Denver, the best Philadelphia, the best Philadelphia satin finish, and the best Denver satin finish. You could get all of them for under $1,000, the best nickels ever from 2009. Now there's another reason that they may not be that expensive, and that's because so many coins were produced in 2009. Remember in 2009, we also had the state quarter series came out. And so there are five state quarters from 2009. There are four dollars, presidential dollars from 2009. There's one Sacagawea dollar. So, so many coins came out in 2009 that people had to pick and choose and they did not choose to buy the nickel. All right, that's all we have today from Big D Coins. Please subscribe to the channel and please subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you have in the comment section.